Calpurnia had a terrible dream and runs to tell Caesar. <gasps> oh my! Caesar, where are you? Thank goodness you're here! Uh, uh, what is it, Calpurnia? They step outside as Calpurnia tells him her dream. Uh, I've had a terrible dream. What, what, what happened? Calpurnia then explains her dream. Oh, it was terrible. Blood was coming out of you. You were a statue and people were surrounding you. They were washing in your blood and cheering. They were happy and joyful. Calpurnia tries to persuade Caesar to stay in, but still Brutus gets him to come out with him. The people of Rome need you. I must fulfill my duties for Rome. That's enough talking. The senate awaits. When they arrive, they meet a soothsayer and they talk. Ooh, it's coffee night again. Oh, I guess. Would you like me to find you something? The Ides of March have come. I see, sir, but they have not yet gone. Then a messenger comes and tries to stop Caesar from going to Brutus and his friends. Caesar, open! Caesar, your majesty, please take this scroll. I have no time. Sir, please, it affects you personally. Definitely not. I must please the people of Rome. Then Caesar comes out. With all these praises, you will lift me up to Olympus. Of course we will. The conspirators close in on him. They raise their weapons to strike. See you in hell. Yeah. Ah! Why, my friends? Goodbye, my friend. Et tu, Brute. Then full Caesar. Because of Brutus, he died of a broken heart. <laughs>